What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Today, I wanna show you this mug that a friend got for me for Christmas this year, and I promise you, I in no way ever use it for subliminal messaging. So, for today's wildlife wild fact, we are talking about cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are absolute masters of disguise. They can change the color of their skin or even the texture of their skin to blend into any environment in the ocean. They do this by using cells called chromatophores in their skin. If you like the wildlife wild fact, tell me in the comments below if you would cuddle with a cuttlefish. As always, to learn more about cuttlefish, check out the links in the description below. Today, we are going to talk about leet code problem number 42 called trapping rainwater. This is a hard problem on leet code. I'm doing it because I heard that this is a very common question in technical interviews across the software engineering world. So let's get into it. Given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is one, compute how much water it can trap after raining. So what does that mean? In this first example, they give us an array and each number in this array represents a specific height across this map, an elevation map. And so we have to see how much water can essentially fit in between each elevation on the elevation map. So for here, for example, between index one and index three, we can fit only one cube of water. And we have to figure out why that is the case and how to calculate that across the entire elevation map. If we look at the bottom, it tells us that in this particular case, six units of water are trapped in this map. And we can see that by counting all six boxes of water. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So in order to do this problem, you'll see that I've left myself with some pseudocode here just to make it easier on myself for solving this problem for you in a timely manner. Uh, it is, of course, a hard problem. So I wanted to be able to do this as quickly and efficiently and accurately as possible for you. So the first bit of pseudocode here I have is that we need our edge case. And the edge case that I have come up with is just if we are given an empty array. So if not height dot length, then we just return zero. So if we don't have any heights in this elevation map, if there is an empty array, then obviously we can't hold any water and we return zero. The next thing we want to do is initialize our various variables that we are going to use. So I'm going to initialize a sum as zero. This will be our overall number of trapped water blocks. We are going to have a wall height and that wall height is going to be the current height of the wall. That is also going to be equal to zero. Then we are going to create a max height variable, which we will set equal to just the first height that we are given in this array, which in this particular array is zero. And we will also create a height index, which I'm going to store in here, the index of the max height of the array. So the first thing that we wanna do is loop through and find the index of the highest, wow, what a spelling error on my part, the highest height in the height array. I'm going to go through height while I is uh, less than height dot length. You'll notice this is the sort of problem where if you type a word enough times, it really starts to look wrong. So if by the end of this problem, height looks incredibly wrong to you, I do apologize. What we wanna do is calculate the height of the highest elevation in the array. We wanna say um, if height at i is greater than max height, then we want to set max height equal to height at i, and we also want to set the height 
index equal to the current index that we are at, and that is what we are gonna use later on in the problem. The next thing that we wanna do is loop over all of the heights until we reach that highest height at the index that we just calculated. The reason for this is because this will essentially tell us the maximum, the highest level height we can achieve as we go through this array. So I am going to say if the current height is taller than our wall height, we want to set the wall height equal to the new current height. What we want to do otherwise is add to the sum the difference between the current height and wall height. So what this is going to do is give us, if there is any water in this particular area, it will give us the amount of water that can fit in that area. But keep in mind, we are only going up to the current highest index. So I apologize, this should be up to height index not not the length of the height array um i apologize and actually we want to go up to and including that index anyway um now all we have to do is reset wall height to zero and we're going to do the same loop again but instead of starting from the front we're going to start from the back uh if you look at the example again you can see that we're going from initially from index zero up to index seven. And now I want to go from index 11 to index seven. So going backwards. So I'm going to say for let I equal height dot length minus one. And we're going to go while I is greater than or equal to height index I minus minus. And we're going to do the same calculations as before. So I'm just going to do a shameless copy and paste in order to find the amount of water that can fit in any given elevation. And at the very end, all we need to do is return the sum. We submit the code and there we go. We get the right answer. And of course, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, that was Question number 42, Trapping Rainwater, our very first hard leak code problem on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. I'll see you next time.